There's no doubt that paying for higher education has become a burden for some students. Right now I have um, grants, I have the Benedictine Scholarship, and I also have the, um, I have two loans out, and then the rest I work and I pay off uh, the remainder every semester. Hill is a sophomore at College of St. Scholastica and says Governor Dayton's proposed higher education budget plan would have an impact on the way she pays for college. The proposed budget plan would definitely help me and, and others that are receiving aid right now because we definitely have are struggling right now. Dayton's budget provides $80 million in state grant programs, which is the largest direct student aid increase in more than 25 years. The goal of the budget is to take financial pressure off of students. Well, as far as my out-of-pocket tuition, it continues to increase every year with the tuition increase. And so I feel as tuition increases, grants should also be increased. Um, UMD's chancellor says that the governor's budget plan would allow them to freeze the tuition rates, which would have a positive impact on the students. More student success. We'll see students graduating probably sooner if we can alleviate some of the strain on students uh, who are having to work too much and being able to modify that with a combination of holding the line on tuition as well as more student aid. Uh, we think that'll help student success. Success that comes with a large price tag. In Duluth, Katie Anderson for KBJR 6 and Range 11. Of course, the state, state grants have been helpful. Right. So the retail has been one of the largest. Um, but I um, am going to LSC to... Time. So a lot of the events, for instance, I had to go down to the state capitol. Is it what you're thinking? Oh, yeah. Um, yeah that that, okay.